so hello YouTube my name is Vlad and this will be an experiment which I do hope will turn out to be a good one. Now what I have in here are actually these three hard drives are 8 gigabytes and these two are 4 and I've actually found as you can see sorry terabytes bloody hell gigabytes I've actually well not found got uh, this one sorry 8 terabytes uh, because a friend owed me some money and uh, kind of got two of those for the amount of money he owed me. Anyway, so the general idea is I will be removing this one. Now this one and this one in here are in RAID uh, 1, which is mirror. So I will be removing this hard drive and placing this new one inside. And uh, let's pray for the best. I do hope that this one will clone all its data in here. Then after I... Uh, after all the data is cloned in here, I will be doing the same, but with this one, so that I will be having two hard drives of 8 terabytes, and then I will be trying to extend the volume. Yeah, okay, so uh, yeah, let's do that. So the first thing I will be actually doing is removing this hard drive, and it is actually quite easy. You just pull this thing and uh, remove the hard drive, actually. It's that easy. Okay, I need to pull the other side as well. Okay. And now let's remove the hard drive and let's open this brand new one. And by the way, I hate when people, yeah, do that. Anyway. So, this thing is inside and uh, let's close this thing. And I, if this thing actually works, yeah, bad idea. Uh, if this thing actually works, this will be a uh, lot well, fun. So, 8 terabytes goes inside, and I do need to turn this thing on. So this thing is booting up with the new drive installed, and it should give me some kind of warning that the field is degraded. And after it gives me the warning, I will be heading back to my room, so that I can actually, well, try to rebuild the RAID field. And I'm assuming that the only thing that it will be doing is actually copying from this drive to this drive. The only thing that actually makes, I would say, sense. But yeah, let's let's wait it out. I'll turn my I'll turn on my computer that's in here, and I can actually do it in here. Just a second. Okay. So. Okay, we have a uh, focus. So we have a yellow status, which actually... Zool! Ah. So yeah, it won't focus, which is always a nice thing. Just a second. Maybe if I turn on the light. And there you have it. So the status is, uh, well, yellow. And there are no actually alerts, which is fascinating, although I have another hard drive in hi inside. So let's turn on my computer and uh, let's try to log in and see what will happen. Okay, so what I have in front of me is my laptop and uh, yeah, let's boot this okay, This should be it. So, we have a system beeper which tells us that the volume is degraded, okay. Okay, attention, all storage pools, degraded. Now what? Storage pools, degraded. Is there a right click? Action, repair. Okay, next. So we actually have a warning that all data will be degraded and uh, the whole data will be erased and repaired and that is pretty much it for the moment. So it is in the process of repairing. Well, after this finishes, I will be removing the other drive, just to see whether this thing will actually work or not, but I think it it should. Now, I don't, I'm not sure if there is any, like, percentage when will this thing be done or whatever. I only have one terabyte, so this should be rather fast repair. So be back after I will repair the uh, 
first drive and uh, I will be replacing it and then installing the other one. So This thing has been repairing for like 15-20 minutes. So what I will be doing is actually um, going to storage manager and just to show you you can actually see the percentage and uh, as you can see now it says repairing and basically there is nothing you can do but if you click on volumes and then click on this little arrow in here you can actually see the percentage so it's 16% complete but I believe that you actually can go to storage pools then choose this choose configuration and actually you can choose option run right racing faster which actually means that your uh, your uh, access to data will be slower but the synchronization will be faster so this is what I am hoping for and now I will uh, let you know how, how much time it took and uh, whether it completed successfully but I think that it will complete successfully and meanwhile I am actually backupping my other 8 terabyte drive in order so that I can place it in here and uh, do another resync. Anyway, be back after this thing finishes. Uh, just to show you the percentage of uh, this thing. So, uh, storage pool. This one is still repairing and it's get a lot of this. It is at 73.97% and I actually enabled the uh, faster uh, cloning and just to show you uh, I actually have this is another drive so uh, I've copied everything from my 4 terabyte uh, from this drive to my uh, 4 terabyte drive which I will be using in my computer then I procrastinated a bit then I went to the gym then I took a shower I, I actually walked my dog and just to show you that I'm not BSing this is the stopwatch and it is at uh, yeah so maybe if you uh, you can actually copy you can actually copy this thing way faster just by you know one terabyte you can remove the uh, entire drive back it up to I don't know to your PC delete the volume then create new volume and everything would be done now bear in mind that I still have to insert this one so this thing will be even more uh, of uh, time I guess so yeah this thing is slow as hell very slow so there you have it uh, this thing is not done yet when this thing uh, finishes I've been searching another drive and trying to uh, well uh, and trying to uh, extend my uh, share so storage pool anyway so uh, be back and we're back. It actually took quite a while for this thing to be done. Now I'm actually kind of curious just to see whether I can extend the... Uh, so as you can see it's normal, it's normal and it is 3.5 terabytes. So I just, I'm just wondering whether I can uh, maybe extend the... Uh, okay, maximum? Yes, I can. As you can see I can actually now extend the volume and it should be at... 8 terabytes and I think this should be done quite quickly so let's see that's it actually awesome I think let's hope that yeah oh so this thing will also take a while well now it's 110 so let's see how long no it's done awesome so I actually have about 8 terabytes, well, 6.98. I guess some is missing in action, and maybe file system is on it and whatnot. I believe that boot is in here. And yeah, I did test everything, and everything is working perfectly. So um, there you have it. This is actually, well, a bit slow experience, I suppose, but pleasing, because you can actually resize your volume in theory without problem. If you have multiple drives, then I have to, for example, if you have RAID 5, I am assuming you'll have to do this five times, uh, three times, sorry. But yeah, well, that is, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, you can always click thumbs up. If you not, well, you know what to do. And yeah, have a good day and until the next time. Cheers.